The second critical technology is delivered by Reserve, a botanical blend of essential antioxidants featuring the profoundly important anti-aging ingredient resveratrol, which nutritional experts are now calling the anti-aging miracle of the century. Reserve gives you more energy. It increases your immunity and it decreases the uh, uh, heart attack rate and it has a whole list of, of benefits. Reserve promotes a healthy immune system, increases your metabolism, and also assists in digestion, cardiovascular function, and helps to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. I am one of those aging baby boomers and I want to stay young. And when I, when I saw the Reserve, I thought, young on the inside, young on the outside. These two mice are racing toward the elusive fountain of youth. So why is the one on the right moving so much faster? He's running on red wine, or more precisely, resveratrol, a natural compound found in red wine. And the man behind the mice is betting that molecule is the answer to aging. We believe these molecules are working by activating these very ancient genetic pathways that control the aging process. Exciting, he says, because the genes are activated by resveratrol. The mice who received it lived 30% longer than the mice who did not. Probably if you wanted enough resveratrol to uh, have the health-giving effects, you'd have to have a couple of hundred glasses of wine. Per day? Per day. Other studies showed that among mice fed a high-fat diet, those given resveratrol didn't gain as much weight as those not given the drug. Sinclair believes that resveratrol actually changes the physiology of the mice. The proof, he says, is in the post-mortem. Their organs looked pristine, youthful, fat-free, uh, and their physiology was just like they were dieting, but they were fat. Convinced they were on the right path, they fast-tracked the drug into human trials on people with untreated diabetes, and the results were impressive. It significantly lowered glucose and insulin levels without the patients changing their diet or taking any other drugs. Originally, our hope was that you'd be able to prevent diseases of aging. What we ended up seeing is actually you could therapeutically intervene in patients who have diseases of aging, and that was unexpected. Yeah, the diabetic patients have high blood sugar and the molecules bring it down. That's treatment, that's not prevention. Sertris is now developing what they say is a much more potent synthetic version of resveratrol that will also soon go into human trials, this time on cancer patients. I keep on thinking, you know, what used to seem like it was science fiction. I actually believe the biology is right, and if we're right, this may be the most important thing that we're going to do in our lives. Good afternoon. There's a medical revolution happening all around us, and it's one that's going to help us conquer some of society's most dreaded conditions, including cancer. And the revolution is called angiogenesis. But one major part of the angiogenesis revolution is a new approach to treating cancer by cutting off the blood supply. We call this anti-angiogenic therapy and it's completely different from chemotherapy because it selectively aims at the blood vessels that are feeding the cancers. So let me show you what happens when we put in an extract from red grapes, the active ingredient is resveratrol. It's also found in red wine. This inhibits abnormal angiogenesis by 60%. So there's just one more disease that I have to tell you about, and that's obesity. Because it turns out that adipose tissue, fat, is highly angiogenesis dependent. And like a tumor, fat grows when blood vessels grow. So the question is, can we shrink fat by cutting off its blood supply? So the top curve shows the body weight of a genetically obese mouse that eats nonstop until it turns fat like this furry tennis ball. And the bottom curve is the weight of a normal mouse. If you take the obese mouse and give it an angiogenesis inhibitor, it loses weight. Stop the treatment, gains the weight back. Restart the treatment, loses the weight again. Stop the treatment, gains the weight back. And in fact, you can cycle the weight up and down simply by inhibiting angiogenesis. So this approach that we're taking for cancer prevention may also have an application for obesity. <music>